Hello, I'm Andrew Camphy with Better Sheets. Today we are going to convert your bullet journal into Google Sheets. This is something interesting for those who have notes they want to digitize or you want to create bullet journals that are a little bit more interactive. We're going to do a basic part of burn no. We're going to create a basic part of bullet journaling, which is the uh, task key. I'm going to start with a brand new page. You know there's no magic going on. There's no extras happening. We're not using Google Script. We are just going to add a few formulas here to create a bullet journal task key. And what we might be able to use this for as well, if you're not into bullet journaling yet, uh, you might increase the flexibility of your checklist. So normally, if you're creating a checklist, you have task one, task two, and you might insert checkboxes. There, and that's sort of where you leave it. And that's pretty cool. We can check off these boxes. Uh, you might also try conditional formatting. But I did want to try to do this where we take the checkbox itself and we convert it to different items, different uh, little sort of emojis, as you'll see, uh, at least in anything visual in, a, in something we can do. But we need to have some kind of way to be able to change it, right? Uh, one way we could do it is if we just put in a drop-down menu. So we could just go to View More Cell Actions, Data Validation. We're going to go List of Items, and we can enter a few items here. We can do a check box, we can do a square, we can do something like that, we can do an arrow as well, right, and any kind of key items, we can definitely take this drop down menu and uh, select the thing we need. We can style it a little bit, right? But Sometimes what might happen is we don't necessarily know the key task yet. We are maybe sharing this journal with someone else. One big reason you might be converting your bullet journal into a Google Sheet is because you're trying to uh, get uh, mates to help you out, right? Uh, or you're combining your skills onto a task. Maybe you're doing this at work and you just want to – you personally use bullet journaling and you want others to use it, so you need to show them how to use it, but you don't want to give them your journal – you might be able to do that, but they might not know what to do for each one. So what we're going to do today is we're going to add a drop down menu over here. We are also going to add the options, but on a different sheet. And we are going to use the lookup to look it up so we don't have to change both of these, the text and the uh, visual item. We can do like checked or completed. We're going to want you know, to do skipped, that kind of thing. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create another tab. We're going to call this tab, uh, what, key. <laughs> we're going to call it key. And all we need is two rows. That's all we need. So we're going to delete all the other rows and columns. Sorry, we need two columns and a lot of rows. So we have these things we need to keep track of, right? Task is going to be a basic dot. We're going to have completed. In this case, we could definitely uh, use sort of simple black and white emojis, but let's use something really fun, right? Task is going to do something like, um, let's do this black box. For completed, we want a checkbox. Let's make it green. Pushed. For this one, we are going to use a sort of um, arrow and scheduled another arrow cancelled we want a big X for event should be a triangle I think we have a triangle in uh, emojis yeah let's use this one so again you can use sort of any emojis you want I'm gonna uh, these in the center so you can see them easier and increase the size just so we can see them easier. A note is going to be a hyphen. 
and important should be like a star, but let's make it um, an emoji, right? Let's make it a star. That's not the one I want. Star. And so again, we can definitely make these all sort of black and white. We can pick out other emojis, up to you, but I wanted to make, add a little bit of color to our bullet journals. And so just to show you what we can do here, we can delete these um, boxes or <clears throat> drop down. We can add a drop down. We can say, let's just delete this checkbox because we definitely don't want a checkbox, right? We want to right click. We can do view more cell actions, data validation. And instead of a list from items, we can do a list from a range and go and select that range. And we can say, look, we just want these items. OK. Click Save. Now we go back to our Sheet 1. And we have a drop-down menu of all of our options, right? Great. This is wonderful. But again, just reiterating what our problem is, if we are using this bullet journal because we want to work with others, they might not know exactly how to use this right away. So they may still be using words. All right. Well, how do we know what to do here? Well, we do the exact same thing. We allow them to take any of these options in the key. So we'll do that just again, just on the second column there. So let's go to right click, view more cell actions, data validation. Oh, I changed my <laughs> Clicking weird places. Let's do that and try that again. Data validation. Oh. All right, data validation list from a range. That range is going to be the B column on our key. And actually, we could put the entire column. If we ever want to add more to this, it's probably better. Make it a little more flexible. All right, go back to our sheet one. And now, if we can look at this, we can see all of our options here. We can say important. Now, in this one, we want it to change based on this text. So we're going to do equals the lookup. The search key is going to be this uh, drop down menu, which is in the G column. Where we're going to search for it is going to be the range, which is going to be key exclamation point B to B. And our index. Now, this is where we get into a little bit of trouble, right? Because we have our key. We have the text on the right and the item on the left. What we need to do when we use VLOOKUP is move this column to the left. And so now we have the A column is the word and the B column is the icon. You'll see we have to edit this. So our key is A to A and index 2. And then we also have is sorted we want false. What we need to do is actually include the B column. So key is A to B. We need both columns there. And then our index is 2 because it is the second column that we want out of that. So if we put 1, we're just going to get the same word. If we put 2, we're going to say, give us whatever is in the second column of A to B. And now we can... Copy down. Actually, we need to have something else. There we go. Now we can copy this down all the way. We have a formula here, the lookup, and anytime we change this the task, we get an item. We can change this important to completed. And there we go. We have a pretty fancy checkbox system, much more than just check on and check off. We have our bullet journal looking thing inside of a Google Sheet. So what I did is I just removed the data validation to make it look a little bit cleaner. We can even make this look a lot cleaner. There's some other videos that help you make your uh, sheets look better. In this case, we're not going to go too deep into this, but we can just go freeze, show grid lines, take those off. And now it looks really nice. We can even add a little bit more space here, make these a little big, bigger, change the font, make it look like a cool uh, bullet journal. 
Now, what we just did is we created a drop-down menu which allows us to change the text and the icon will automatically be changed. You can also do the reverse where you create the drop-down menu as icons only and then grab the name of the task, uh, name of the item from the key if you wish. What you might have to do, right, if you use VLOOKUP is make sure that whatever key column you're looking in is on the left. There's another way to do this with index match, which I have other videos of index match for you available. And if there are any other parts of bullet journaling that you want to convert into Google Sheets, ask in the description below, ask in the comments below under the description, um, and I'm more than happy to answer those questions and try to do more bullet journaling in Google Sheets. Don't make any sheets, make better sheets. So you just watched how to convert your bullet journals into Google Sheets. Now, if you want to convert your bullet journals into $3,000 a month, go watch this video here. Go watch this video here. And I think you'll enjoy learning uh, different ideas on how to make $3,000 a month just with Google Sheets. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you learned something new today. Thanks for watching Better Sheets, the YouTube channel brought to you by bettersheets.co.